everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to fun Friday. This was not an expected video. I had to take my car in for a wheel alignment and it was going to take about an hour. So I thought, you know what? No problem. It's really close to the winners. Winners is where I buy my coffee for when I make cold brews at home and I'm all out of coffee. I'll just swing down there, pick up my coffee and everyone's happy. But of course I wanted to look around cause that's what you do, right? I found some things. Okay. I know. Um, first off, let me talk about the coffee. This is the only place that I can find this specific coffee besides Amazon where it's extremely expensive. Um, so it's Kahlua brand, like the alcohol. Okay. Um, and normally the flavor I get, cause they have a, they have a few different flavors. Um, the flavors that you can get according to the package are Kahlua original. I haven't tried Kahlua mocha. I have tried not a fan espresso martini. Never seen it. Never tried it. French vanilla tried it. Not a fan peppermint mocha again. Never saw it. Haven't tried it. Black Russian uh, have seen it. Haven't tried it. Salted caramel. Not a fan. Um, Cafe Veracruz, never seen it. White Russian, never seen it, never tried it. And Hazelnut, which is my favorite. Now, if you have shopped Winners before, you know that they don't always carry the same product and they don't always have the same thing all the time. So when I run out of my coffee, sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. Um, I went to the coffee section. There wasn't a lot of coffee there. I did not see the hazelnut flavor, but what I did see is mudslide flavor, which I've never seen before. And I've had mudslides before, like the alcoholic mudslides, and I quite enjoy them. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll try this kind. Um, now it says on here that Kahlua rum and coffee liqueur combines the delicious notes of rum, vanilla, and caramel wrapped in roasted coffee flavor from hand-picked, um, beans. Our Kahlua mudslide coffee uses a hundred percent, or I'm always going to say this word wrong. Ar Arabica. I always say it wrong. Don't laugh. I know you're laughing. It's okay. Uh, beans, which are carefully washed, screened, prepared, blah, 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 blah. So it smells good. They have the little, it does smell good. So yum. Now the other thing I want to point out here, I know prices of things are going up here in Canada. Anyway, I used to be able to get this. This is uh, 12 ounces of coffee. I can usually get three cold brew carafts out of a bag, three or four, depending on how strong I make it, out of a bag. A bag used to cost me $7.99. That was my price, $7.99. You guys, you guys, look at this, 10 bucks. The price went up. It's 10 bucks now, $2 more than it used to be. That made me mad, but this is the only place I can find this. If you have ever seen this Kahlua brand coffee before, specifically hazelnut, tell me where you've seen it. Cause I've only seen it at winners or on Amazon, but they want like $60 for a 12 ounce bag. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I picked that up. This is what I went there for. So I got it, not hazelnut. I got mudslide. Um, but that's fine. Now in the coffee section, they also had syrups. Okay. Here's the thing. They had syrups. 
Now they had, um, I currently have one coffee syrup here in the house. At one point I had about five. Um, and now I have one. I can't even remember. Let me go, let me go see what I have. Hang on. I couldn't remember what I had. I have caramel pecan. I didn't remember. So something's going back, but that's fine. So this is the one I have is caramel pecan. I love this brand. This is the Jordan's skinny syrups. This is zero calories, zero sugar. Okay. Love that. Um, this is the caramel pecan. You can tell I've, I mean, I have used it. It's not crazy, but I have used it. It smells good. I like it. Okay. Um, I mean, I use them for making my own coffee at home, my cold brews and stuff. You can use the syrup in anything. You can use it in baking. You can use it for sauces. You can put it over ice cream. Like there, you can do so many things with it, but I've only ever used it for coffee. Um, so this is the only one I have. And they had a whole bunch kind of in the coffee aisle. But I was like, mm, you know, like they had like fruity flavors and stuff. And I'm like, ah, what would I do with that? Guess what I found though, you guys. I've never seen this before and I was excited. It's simple syrup. Okay. I really want to make my own cocktails at home and a lot of recipes call for simple syrup. Now I'm pretty sure you can buy it at the liquor store. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can make your own cause I did try to make my own once and I was not a fan, but then I'm like, Whoa, it's in a bottle. Yes, please. Now they had two different ones. So be careful. The original one I picked up, I think the brand was Mateo's. It was not zero sugar or zero calorie. It was like 20 calories for like a tablespoon or something. Then I saw this one again. Thank you, Jordan skinny syrups. Love it. Zero calorie, zero sugar, zero carbs. Yes, please. Not only that, this is good until January of 2025. Perfect. So this is amazing because now anytime I do a cocktail at home that asks for simple syrup, I have it. I almost bought two bottles, but I'm like, nope, we're just going to go with one. Uh, by the way, these are $6.99 each, which I find is the best price. You can get these. I've seen them in the grocery stores uh, like Sobeys. I want to say they're around $7.99, $8.99. So it is a little cheaper at Winners. Okay. Um, so I was very excited to see the simple syrup. I was like, yeah, I'm picking that up. Then you guys, they had other kind of syrups like um, cocktail type syrups, mojito, margarita, um, pina colada. I was excited about that. Um, now there's two different things. There's the syrups, like the ones I just mentioned, then they have something called, um, Jordan's skinny mixes. Okay. So there's Jordan skinny syrups, then there's skinny mixes. And that's what I got specifically the strawberry key lime margarita. Hello. Yes, please. This is a skinny mix. I've never tried their skinny mixes before. Now this one is not zero calorie, but it is zero sugar. Okay. This says it's five calories and zero sugar. This is, uh, you just add tequila to it. That's it. You add tequila. This was also $6.99. Okay. So it's got here the skinny strawberry key lime margarita two to three parts of the mix, one part tequila, shake with ice, pour and enjoy. That's it. You could also blend it with ice if you want a frozen margarita, but you guys, honestly, it's gluten-free. Like how awesome is that? I'm very excited. Um, so I picked that one up. I was tempted to get some of the other ones, but I was like, no, you know what? We're just going to start with this. We're just going to start with this. So I pick that up. So if you guys are looking for things like that, check your winners. Okay. Um, then I was in kind of the drink aisle and stuff and I came across an ice cube tray now. Okay. I love ice. Love it. I go through ice a lot. I have ice cube trays. 
okay? I have, um, I have a lot of ice cube trays. I specifically use in my freezer right now Tupperware ice cube trays because they have a lid, which I love because it doesn't spill in my freezer before it's frozen, right? And they're a smaller container. I love that as well. Uh, then I have, um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. So I have those. This I thought was cute. This is number one, it's silicone, which I like. It's a no spill because it has the lid. Honeycomb ice tray with lid. So these make 37 hexagon shaped ice cubes. How cute is that? I love different shapes of ice. My favorite type of ice is crushed ice, which obviously you can't find an ice cube mold that makes crushed ice. Um, and we don't have an ice dispenser that would give me crushed ice. So my only option is to crush it myself, which I'm too lazy to do. But I'm like, how cute is this little hexagon, hexagon um, ice? And it's a flexible silicone tray. And I like the color is really cute. This was $6.99 as well. Okay, so I'm like, yes, please, I will try this. So I'm excited to try this. Now, the one thing is the, the lid, like it doesn't snap on tight. It just covers it. So I don't know. We'll see if I like that or not. Um, but it says fill and carry with no spills. So maybe once the water's in there, it kind of like vacuum seals or something. I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was super cute. So I picked that up. Then I found this. Now, another ice cube tray. Okay. Yes. Another one. Currently I have in my fridge, I bought these a long, 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 long time ago and I love them. They are specifically for water bottles. Okay. So it's an ice cube tray that makes little sticks. So they will fit in the opening of your water bottle. Love them. I use them all the time. Again, what don't I love? It doesn't have a lid, right? So when I go to put it in there, it's spilling everywhere. It's a mess. Here it is with a lid and it's smaller, which I also really appreciate. This is ice sticks for water bottles or any beverage. Uh, it's silicone again. It has the lid. Um, I don't know how many sticks it makes nine ice sticks in here. So that's what it looks like. How cute is that? You can see the little sticks there. Like, it's so cute, you guys. This was only $3.99, which I thought was a good deal. And this one, it, the lid actually does really go on it. It doesn't just set on top, so I appreciate that. So now I can get rid of my other two bottle ice cube maker um, trays because I like this one better. And I love that it's smaller and it's not going to take up as much room. So that made me happy. Okay. Then I'm looking around and I came across these and these might go back. I haven't decided. Um, we're getting the pools ready. You know, we're in the pool, all that kind of stuff for a while ago, a long time ago, we bought my daughter goggles, um, for swimming. Um, and she wore them sometimes last year. She didn't wear them at all. For whatever reason, this year, she's like, I need my goggles. I need my goggles. You think I could find them? No. Um, so at Winners, they had these super cute pink and orange little kind of flowery goggles. These were $7.99, which I thought was pretty reasonable because the last goggles we bought her were very expensive. They were like through the swim school she was taking lessons from. And I want to say they were like $40. They were not cheap. Um, but I thought these were super cute. So I haven't decided yet if I can find the other ones, these will probably go back. But if not, then she has these or I mean, whatever, she's got two pairs. Um, not, it's not the end of the world. So then I picked that up. That was it. I was like, okay, I also made a point of not taking a cart. I was like, nope, I'm just going to, I'm just going to carry stuff. If I can no longer carry anything, then I can't buy anything anymore. So I was literally on my way through the tail. You guys, that impulse section gets me every time, every time it does. Now here's the thing with winners. I went there for coffee. I went to the section where the coffee was. If you have been to winners before, you understand what I'm going to say. Just because you've gone to the section, the item should be in does not mean it's not in a different section of the store. 
specifically the impulse section. You should always look at the impulse section if you're looking for something specific. Because guess what I found in the impulse section, you guys? I found my hazelnut Kahlua coffee. Yes, I did. Not only that, they had tons of Kahlua coffee in the impulse section. They literally only had the one bag of mudslide in the coffee section. That was it. They had a couple bags of original in the coffee section and that was it. But all the Kahlua coffee was in the impulse section. There was a ton of it. So I picked up a hazelnut because I know it's my favorite. It smells good. I love it. Mmm, smells so good. So I picked that up. Yes, $9.99. Price went up. I'm so angry. Then, you guys, they had the syrups. Way more flavors, again, than what was in the coffee section. I bought some. Okay. Now, first off, like I said, I couldn't remember the kind I had. I couldn't remember. So I did end up picking up another caramel pecan, but that's the one that I apparently already own. So this one will be going back because I don't need another one. I still have over half a bottle here. So this one will be going back, which is fine. Um, then I picked up hazelnuts. I love hazelnut. I just do. Again, these are all the skinny syrups. Zero calories, zero sugar. You guys, $6.99. And this lasts a long time, a really long time. Um, so this one, um, does it say in here? <laughs> so enjoy, enjoy your favorite beverages and foods without the guilt. Okay. It says you can add this to coffees, lattes, cappuccinos, yogurt, oatmeal, protein shakes, baking or desserts. Yes, those are all great ideas. So I picked up hazelnut. I also picked up vanilla because, sorry, the sun's in the way here. I mean, vanilla is such a, I'm going to say basic flavor, but not in a bad way, right? Vanilla. It's a great, just basic flavor to have on hand. Again, add it to baking, especially zero calories, zero sugar, like perfect. Uh, this was also $6.99. Um, there is a recipe on this one. It says on here, uh, to make a vanilla bean cappuccino, steam half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of vanilla skinny syrup together, pour into a cup and add brewed espresso. Top with sugar-free whipped cream and enjoy. Does that not sound amazing? Like, yes, please. So I got vanilla. And the last one I got, this is from, it's Jordan Skinny Syrup again, but this is from their Barista collection, which I haven't seen before. And this is Cinnamon Dolce. Yum. I've been getting a lot of Starbucks coffee lately, like more than I should be. And I've come across the cinnamon Dolce and I've been ordering that like crazy. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? Mm, I'm going to get this again. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero carb. Yes, please. $6.99. Okay. Um, it's amazing. Um, so it shows you again, you can put it in pretty much everything. Um, what I also love is these don't expire until 2025 because they do last a long time. Now that is what I purchased from winners. Now, like I said, that one's going to go back. Here's the thing. You can get pumps for these. I somewhere, somewhere I have one or two pumps. You think I know where? No, I don't. I literally just pour in, which probably not the best choice, right? Because I go to Starbucks a lot. I know all their syrups have pumps and it's all done by the pump, right? Like you'll get a brown sugar oat latte and it's got four pumps of brown sugar syrup. So I need pumps. I'm going to order them from Amazon. Uh, I can get an eight pack of pumps for how much was it? I don't know, 20 bucks, maybe, maybe not even that much. Maybe it was 16, whatever. And 
it specifically says, because there's so many on Amazon, it specifically says it works with the Jordan Skinny Syrups, which is perfect because that's what I have. Um, and then you just put your pump on and it's just easy. One pump, two pump, whatever it is. You can find copycat uh, Starbucks recipes online. There's Facebook groups that have them. You can start making them at home. That's what I intend to do because I've been going to Starbucks way too much and it costs a lot of money, you guys, and I'm supposed to be saving money. So I bought these syrups with the intention of making my coffees at home now. Uh, I've done that in the past. I actually like it. Um, but I've got so many awesome flavors here to play around with and see. If I ever find the Jordan Skinny Syrup in um, some of the Starbucks flavors, like the brown sugar or the toffee nut, I'm definitely picking those up because yum. Um, but I was excited to see some of these different syrups. So I'm going to have to start making some recipes now. So that's exciting. But that was my little winner's haul. Again, not expected, but sometimes that happens. Uh, let me know, do you guys love these syrups, especially like, the mixes, have you seen the mixes? Let me know if you've tried these. Let me know if some are better than others, what your opinions are. Um, I'm very excited to try this. Just add tequila, you guys, I'm excited. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this fun Friday. We'll see you next time, bye.